Hey, this is Melba the Media Man, and in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the uh, Chrome extension called Page Ruler. Okay, first thing we need to do is we need to come over here and uh, go to, uh, let's see here, go to Chrome Extensions. Chrome Extension Store. There we go. Let's okay, and this is the one we're going to use, so we're going to add it to Chrome. Add extension. Okay, it is there. Right. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a post. I'm going to add new. Okay, I'm going to publish. Okay, we're going to go into the front end. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to take this here. We're going to duplicate it a couple of times. Okay, going to come down here and change this to two column. We're going to change this to three column. And we're going to come down and change this to four column like so. Okay, we're going to come in here. We're going to just about that color there. Come down here and change this here to about the same color. Okay, and we're finished, and we've got all of these. Hit save. Okay, looks great here. All right. Okay, when we come over here and look at our page right here, we'll notice all these are run together. That's basically because there's no padding or anything. We can easily fix that. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and add some text. some text in there. Okay. Do what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of padding around this here. Let's move this down from the top just a little bit. Let's move it over the side about 10 and that should be good there okay and we're going to duplicate this okay we're going to hit save Let's come back and take a look. Okay, you can see where the columns are right here. Now we don't have any padding space in between. So our styling here. I'm going to put some top padding. Let's go for a 10. 10 at the bottom. Let's go down here. Okay, and hit save. 
and we come back here and update you'll see a nice symmetrical presentation there okay so here's what we're going to do we're going to use our new tool right here and we're going to come down and we're going to look at the width of these column sizes right here so we can optimize our image sizes so you're looking about right there coming across somewhere about right in there you're looking at 822 right about 822 and uh, width so let's do this right here and let's weigh this out here you're looking at in a width of about you could probably safely say that's 400 yeah, you're looking at about 400 there so anyway you got about 400 and let's come down here pull it down about right there and you're looking at about 257 slightly over probably about 256 is what you're actually looking at there and then you're looking at about one 185 to 186 there okay so I'm going to turn that off so here we see we're looking at about 822 across here about 400 here about 256 here and about 186 there so the idea is to optimize our images where they are the right width and uh, and obviously height you never want to make an image any larger than you have to there is just no sense in wasting the time wasting the space or the bandwidth uh, it just needs to be the right size and that's all so in using this tool right here it gives us these dimensions here so what we're going to do now is go in and we're going to take an image and we're going to optimize an image and let me show you how that is done so let's go back to chrome here and uh, let's see here how about let's use hummingbird okay we want to use a picture by the way this is a great resource right here uh, Pixabay, it's free. You just have to get an account and log in. Okay, give me just a second to locate something. I want to use something that's How about this one. Okay, and we're going to download that'll be okay notice that this image is, is a 1920 wide in pixels so we're going to okay so we're going to show in a folder I'm going to copy Okay, and we're going to come down here and paste. There's our image right here. Okay. Okay, and what we want to do now is we want to open this image with Photoshop Elements, which is a great, great program. I use it all the time. Okay, and what I want to do is I'm going to take this image right here, which you can see, 
you can see the uh, width of it and I want to take this image and I'm going to go across that 822 uh, area that looks like a banner so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and uh, crop this at 822 say let's do about 400 okay and this is already at 72 which is all we need the human eye cannot see above that so if you're doing any website photos the resolution only needs to be at 72 dpi any other any other um size larger than that you're just really wasting your time okay so we're going to use this image right here and I'm gonna crop it here and let's look at it in actual size that's perfect so let's go ahead and save and let me show you here so we're gonna hit save as okay and I'm gonna name this we're going to name this uh, little SEO here, uh, Page Ruler, Melvin B A R A D T T. Okay, B A N E R. How about a one? All right. Now, at this size here, we see that it's 251.3 kilobytes. Now, basically, if you'll come down to about four right there, you will not really lose any of the quality of the picture. And as you can see, that has reduced it down to 53.1 kilobytes. So we're going to go ahead and hit save. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uncrop this picture again. We'll come down here and uh, tell it to fit on the screen. And then we're going to get the next crop, which is 400. So I'm going to crop this at 400. And I'm going to keep basically a, a 4 by 3 ratio on these images right here to make it really simple. Okay, and it's still at 72 DPI. So I'm going to get back here. I'll move that. There we go. That's just what I want right there. All right. So this image right here is 400 wide. So we're going to save this as 400 wide. And I am going to do this right here. I am going to put 400 px01. Hit save. Now, keeping at the quality of four, we have now reduced this down to 41.4 kilobytes. Okay. Now, I'm fixing to take the same image. And I'm going to resize it to the next one down, which was at 256, if you remember. So 256, and that's automatically going to calculate the height and keep it in a ratio. We do not want 72 resol 300 resolution. That's what you print in. We're going to change this to 72. So when we hit enter, we're going to see that it resized. So we we'll down and save as and we're going to put that at 40 but it's really 400 so we're going to go 256 on this here and save notice it's dropped it down to 37.4 keeping with a quality of 4 okay and our last one here we're going to resize this image down to 
186. Come up at the top here, 86. Notice it changes the height to 140, still in the same ratio. Okay, and then we're going to hit Save As. And we'll change this to 186. And now it's dropped it down to 37.5, still at a decent quality to the human eye. All right, so here's what we're going to do now. We're going to add an image to this top up here. And we're going to come down here. We're going to go to the library. We're going to go to upload, select files. Okay, here we go. And then we're going to add this image here. And I'm not worried about filling this in right here for the sake of the video. We're going to insert. Okay, and that fills it in real nice. Now, let's come down here, add the image. Browse library, upload, and we're going to pick the 400. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and insert it. Looks great. Then we'll come up here. Going to add this image here. Browse the library. Take the two fifty six, put it there, come here, put the image here, browse the library, upload, select files, and to the 186. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that right there. I'm going to hit save. And refresh. Okay, so here's what I want you to see. I want you to see the evolution of this picture right here. Um, obviously, this was more of a banner look, so it was 822 or 823, came down to 400. This one came down to uh, to 256, and this one came down to two to 186. And notice that you have the same picture coming down, just in a different uh, size, but the ratio is a four three four three four three ratio so it's the same exact picture but what we will see is a difference in the size so these photos here have been optimized for this particular blog okay so let's go ahead and let's go back and take a look at a couple things here Okay, so now what we want to do, now that we've got this page, got all these photos optimized, I want to open up the file folder and let's just take a look. This particular image right here, is this image here. And now it's 822 by 400 coming in at 41.1 kilobytes. That's that particular image. We come down to this image right here, which is the 400 wide. We come up here. This image now is 400 by 300, and it's at 24.9 kilobytes. And remember, this is the original photograph, which was 1920 by 1440 at 600 and 
it was like 629 kilobytes. And then down here at this image right here, which was about 286 wide here, actually it's at 256 wide, it comes in at 256 by 192, it comes in now at 23.9 kilobytes, and our last image right here, which is 186 wide, it comes in now at 186 by 140 at 21.9 kilobytes. So when you contrast that with this right here, you're, you're looking at quite a difference. And all we have really done is we have optimized the photographs, the images. We've optimized them for this particular page. And there's basically been no loss in quality. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, label and label a couple of things on this blog right here. Okay, I have went through and labeled these images, so let's hit save. And let's come over and refresh. Okay, so now you can see here that this started out at 629 kilobytes. Not to repeat myself, measured 1920 by one by uh, 1440 and here we see now we've got this image down to 41.1 kilobytes by reducing it to 822 pixels by 400 and obviously this size here just the same 400 by 300 now at 24.9 again 256 pixels by 192 this image now is 23.9 kilobytes. This image here, um, 186 by 140, now 21.9 kilobytes. These images here are perfectly optimized, perfectly optimized for a web page or web blog image uh, or website page. Okay, so in the tool that I used here to optimize these and to get these sizes was the uh, page ruler which is a Chrome extension. Okay we have pretty much finished the blog here. The only thing I have left to do is to complete the video and add it right in here and upload it to YouTube but I hope that you'll visit this blog page. It's got some uh, very inform great information right here. As you can see the evolution of optimizing your images and uh, Hope that you'll visit us. Visit melvinbarnett.com. Check out our blogs. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube. And uh, if you get a chance, like us on uh, Facebook. Anyway, appreciate your time. God bless. Have a great day.